Hello, and now this is my character's presentation for Felix de Vigo. Um, when we were given the, the brief for Felix, like the first thing I went on to do was straight away just start sketching ideas of what I thought was about right. Um, so here, are the, these are like the sketches that I came up with. And like at the time, like I thought they were working, but I think I left it for a day or two. And then when I reflected on the drawings, they weren't really, they didn't really have any direction. Like they were good for initial, they were fine for initial sketches, but they didn't have like any like substance to them. So I thought I need to go back to the, really need to go back to the drawing board and think about the character, the brief, really read through it and really be like what's important. So I made a, this character sheet. So the who, what, where, when, why was like really important questions that I needed to, to ask myself and to answer to make sure I was designing according to the brief, but also designing an interesting character. So um, I had to find out about his personality. So who is he? He was confident, charismatic, charming, flamboyant, and handsome. Um, so this this completely like um, this is all about his design. So I need to make sure that when I'm choosing what clothes he wears and the colors that they are confident, they're bold, they're 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 really out there and theatrical. Um, I also from this like I kind of got the the vibe that he was quite. Um, a quite like a good looking guy he was almost a bit full of himself so i was making sure to keep that in mind um it also says that again the what with their latest fashion flamboyant capes embroidered boots um these were the embroidered boots and the jewel encrusted um rapier were like the really important design features for me they were like the big big things because I'll come on to them later when I explain them, but they were like really big. I need to really focus on a lot of time on designing them. Um, where, where, what does he do? Well, if he's an explorer and he's an adventurer, I really need to think about will the clothes be really worn out? Maybe I know what he does, like what his um, like day to day business is. Uh, the, the time frame as well is really important 16th and 19th century. I couldn't stray too far into the past or too modern. It'd be, I feel like, with this project, it's quite easy to fall into a kind of um, post-apocalyptic kind of scene where it's really important to keep around the time frame um yeah and, and that was and that was it so i pretty much had everything so i really wanted to move on to the clothing that he was going to wear so i found some some clothing that I, th I thought fit the time frame um but i needed to adapt this to fit um an adventure he's going to be moved about he's going to be on on boats he's going to be doing so much stuff that it needs to be be adapted to be a bit more convenient but also to look a bit nicer as well um so i took the the, the tops the yeah, the the top and like the shirts um i really like these kind of designs they because they they supported like him being full of himself and all the the royal colors and then i i merged them together i really liked um this bottom left design here where the uh the the zip or like the the join comes like across the front it's a little bit different it's a bit more chaotic than just like straight down the middle i didn't end up going for this design in the end but I, it is really interesting to explore it but i did end up keeping things like these these pockets and the the shoulder the shoulder pads that you see here this is a i thought this was like a really interesting design feature um to add so like without doing this i never would have, have come up to that that conclusion so then from here i i took them and i just started sketching different char characters and what i noticed after like looking back is the the more i went on the more I was kind of like getting the vibe of the character. The more drawings I did, the more I was thinking like, well, right, I, I like this feature. I like that feature. I can go back. Um, so I, I ended up really liking the bottom three because if we, yeah, the bottom three were like uh, my favorite. I really like the, the puffy sleeves on the last one as well. I saw in a lot of these. They, they were really interesting. And with the waistcoat over the top, I thought that seemed really um, chaotic as well and how he's almost like throwing the outfit together. That was like really important that he had that kind of vibe because he's, maybe gone out he's found these expensive clothes he's found these expensive items he's just throwing them on to make himself look a bit more more expensive more rich I that was quite interesting so i took the all the best parts of uh why all, all the best parts of the designs and i combined them into one um this was a really important part um i, I needed to here i needed to make to, sure to think of the silhouette the silhouette was really important and also to think about the the shape language and all the leading lines so i started to add chains for like pocket watches that led up and made to keep all the detail around like the upper 
upper portion of the torso. That was that was really important. So here, like you got all the badges here, and you've got the ruffles there. Like that was really important to keep it all there. Even on the back of, I've literally got an arrow pointing upwards towards the head. Um, that was all really important. It's quite subtle. Um, I also kept tried to keep in mind as well, like the the tonal values. So at the bottom, around the pants and the boots, I kept that all dark. And then as we go up the design, it gets lighter and lighter. And almost the sleeves being so bright almost act as lines pointing towards the shoulders. I thought that was like a really important feature, a really f fun feature as well. And because they are like a really light material, it'd be really fun to watch, to be like animated in like a game or a film or something. It'd be quite cool. So I, uh, I kept them. And then that was my my final design. Then I was to, to label everything that needed um, the, the critical details. So the rapier handle and the holster they were really important to do they're a big part it's almost like the character's like main weapon um, it's a big part of them so like you wouldn't see the character away from their weapon so i made sure to to put like a lot of time into designing that and as well as the boots too the, a person's shoes are, are quite a big part of the design like when you see uh, movie shots of people stepping off a boat or out of a car and you only see their shoe but you instantly know they're like a policeman they're a cowboy just from their shoes so it was really important that I gave him really defining shoes uh, so I the next was the the rapier design I started out just doing silhouettes um, I just you just used the um, a few tools on Photoshop to mirror to mirror the the image and I could just uh, really quickly bang out spending no more than 30 seconds on each one just get a load of designs out that was a uh, that was really fun to do and I wasn't really even thinking about um, what I really wanted at this point I just want oh, what would be a cool look no matter who the character was for so once and then I had a sheet of them I could really narrow down like saying oh these ones here yeah, yeah. like this one is too like this one here is too bulky so I'll get rid of that one that one's too bulky as well that one doesn't really fit the time scale, so I'll get rid of that one and stuff like that. And I ended up settling with this one and this one uh, because the top one I thought was a bit more flamboyant and interesting. And the same with the bottom one with the curves. I thought that really fit the character. So then from this, I uh, I just started developing that more. So I took both of them and I started adding flowers because um, it, it said in the brief that it was um, drooling across the rapier. Like it was all nice. Um, so I made sure to think about that. Um, I started of added in yeah the, the flowers I thought were really interesting because I could have little little jewels on the flowers. Um, I did run into a problem with these with these later because I realised that um, the flowers would actually be very fragile, especially if you're using it for fighting. Um, but I did end up going with um, the third design on the top to to develop. Um, I thought the the glass was okay up here, like the glass heart, um, because it was kind of encased, and then. I kind of came, I made the decision that in the brief that it says that Felix doesn't, he doesn't kill. He, I'm sure he fights, but he doesn't, he doesn't kill or he, his goal isn't to kill. So he wouldn't be using his weapon all too much than to show off. So then I could make a decision with, with, if I wanted to keep the flowers, which I did, but it was important to um, make them a bit more sturdy as well. So I went for the design on the far right. I really like the, the reds and the colors. It'll really stand out against the rest of the character, I thought. So, um. I laid that that image out in Maya and then and just mocked up um, quite quickly just to get like the basic shapes and then just painted straight over the top of it. Um, and that gave me the design to finish off the design sheet then. The design sheet was, this, this is the entire rapier design and the holster as well. The holster was really important. Um, not too much for like the, the actual like buckle design or, or anything, but but just for like the, the holster because that's going to stick out from the body quite far. That's going to be a big part of the silhouette. So I thought the slight curve would really describe that rapier design um, the most. And then the next was the boots. So I had to go onto the boots. And I, I worked on this the same way. I just um, did a load of silhouettes from the side so I didn't have to think about perspective. Just did it from the side. I uh, uh, used a nice set of rose stencils and just put them on in a, in a way I found nice. Um, almost like I tried to make them make sure they were leading up the object. That was quite important. Um, and I started adding like these metal braces around the bottom as well to give the shoe some support if he's going to be um, quite active. I did think as well to put a tread on the bottom but um, and a zip along the side because the zip is almost a point up. 
However, when I went to do the, the final painting and the final design, um, I had to remove these because um, I did more research about shoes at the time and they didn't really have a tread on the bottom and they also didn't have zips either at all. So um, I just removed them. Um, I think they, they work still the same, just the slide down boots and the roses and the stems still point up. M the more detail being at the top, so they definitely point, point upwards towards the main, main body, which is important. Um, so now I've done the boots and the rapier, those are the two main separate parts that I, need, I felt like I needed to focus on. So then uh, I could focus on the portrait. Um, what I did here was I just took celebrities that were all people that were that were like uh, meant to be good looking, like their role was to be like the good looking main guy or or whatever. I know Disney did this with um, with movies like like Frozen. Like they get they take the princes and they want the princes to be as good looking. I remember I was being told that they actually went around the studio and just asked people to to fill in the form, like what's your dream guy, and that's what they modeled the. Uh, model the princes off so so I made sure to, to to like do the same like I just took like some good looking um actors and took their like main features so the the blue eyes like the dazzling blue eyes the the slick back like parted hair I thought that was really important and the, ch the chiseled like jawline and stuff so I kept all of that um and now I've done that I could focus on actually all the colors of what he was wearing uh, this is quite tough actually um but I wanted to kind of keep it to royal colours, um, like the royals, like the purples, the, like the royal blues. But um, yeah, this was this was much more much more difficult because I didn't want to stray to stuff that was completely unrealistic. But I also needed to keep um, yeah, I needed to keep some kind of realism to it. But I also wanted him to stand out because he's quite a flamboyant character. So I ended up going for like this bottom bottom um, kind of like wine red um, colour. I feel like it does stand out and it keeps like the tones like um, getting lighter the further up you go, and uh, it makes this detail at the top stand out, which is mostly important. Like the detail near the bottom doesn't stand out nearly as much as it does at the top. And these like badges, um, I didn't really think needed to be focused on for design because while they are meant to add clutter to further up the torso, they're not there to draw attention. They're there to draw attention to the face, so I kept them quite bland as well. And then now I'd figured out the color scheme. I, I went and painted the back, the back as well. Um, and I feel like this was a really good uh, like front and back view for the for the pose, for the uh, sorry for the final sheet. But they didn't really um, have much personality about them. So I made sure to. So I wanted to do another front and back pose, back pose, one that was a bit more fun, a bit more interesting. So I uh, so I dressed up as how I designed Felix so far. And got into a few poses and took some photos of how um, how I thought he'd look, or how I thought his personality would be. I feel like he'd be quite moody, he'd be quite full of himself. So um, the two that I went for in the end were uh, this top one here and then this one. And then what I, what I did was I sketched over the, the drawing and I added all the features that I designed. So I added the boots, the rapier, the, the really bushy sleeves, the hat. Um, and then I just did a almost like we do in environments. Did a quick one, two, three read on the the dark and the mid turns, the lighter bits, and I just got like a really like he really gave off the vibe of his personality um, much more than than just like the original two drawings. I also did this with a front view as well, so I made sure I he he really gives off like the the mood I I, I want him to give. So now I've got all the uh, the deliverables for the. The project. So this is all the stuff that um, I'd submit for the, the games artist. So here's the final character sheet. This is everything, like the boots, the rapier, the, the portrait. This is all the important stuff to really show off the character. Um, I was going to make the middle, the middle two, um, black and white, but I feel like it describes the tones enough, and it really gives like an honest front and back view that's easy to see for a game artist. So I kept them in color. Um, and then I wanted to also separate away and do a, a movement sheet. I thought this was really important. Um, just because of the way the way he walks is like a big part. I know um, like the sprint and the leap designs here. You see this kind of similar movement in games like Assassin's Creed. Because he's, a, he's an adventurer at the end of the day. He's out exploring. He's out running. He's out chasing after people. Running away from people probably. Um, so, he needs to, so he's probably done it before. So... It needs to be a bit more energetic, so this is how I imagined he'd, he'd go about doing that. Um, 
with a, with a really, really like heavy lead and full of energy and his cape like flapping behind him uh with the cape as well i i didn't want to design it design it um that over design I, I just kept it like a dark color that was just to help with the tones because towards the top of the body where his shoulders get wider you can't really see the cape behind him but lower down the body where it, where it fans out a bit by the legs it just darkens that entire area so it does actually keep all the focus towards the top of the body which I, which uh worked in my favor and then i'd also deliver the the boot design as well which i've which i showed earlier where i can see i remove the tread remove the zip um so I really like this design, as well as the, the rapier design and the portrait. So there are my, my deliverables and my final for my final character sheet. Uh, and overall I'm pretty happy with the with the design. Um now I've done like a proper design, like through and through from a brief to the, the final product. It, it means that a lot of the stuff early on where I was doing sketching with no real goal, I can just skip all that out next time. So I actually have learned quite a lot in terms of the design process that worked for me this was this project was really about just experimenting with what was work going to work what was going to work what wasn't going to work and now i know um about all of that i can just um get a much more streamlined goal next time a streamlined workflow for for my brief next time um so that's the end of my uh, presentation thanks for listening